Hi everyone, this app is like adding Instagram and Messenger together into one, and this is roughly divided into four parts. The first is home, where you can post and view user posts. The second is chat, which displays private and open chat. The third is search, where you can search for posts and users. And the last is my page. This page is very similar to Instagram. Okay, let's check together what kind of specifications my app actually have. First of all, let's start with the home screen. This screen is designed to display the user's post and profile. It's basically similar to the Instagram. However, this app has one decisive difference from the so-called SNS. The secret is hidden in this magical button. Perhaps you can see this by looking at this. That's right, in, your, in our app, users don't have to go to a screen to check their favorite posts. And also, you can post immediately from this button. Which means you can post your own post, check the posts of users who you are following, and check the posts you like in this one screen. Everything can be done in few seconds. For example, let's take a look at the posts of users you're following. The woman in the picture looks really fun. Maybe you know her and want to get in touch with her after a long time. In such a case, it's easy. Please touch this button. In that way, you can send a message immediately. Next, let's take a look at the chat page. As I said at the beginning of the video, there are two elements on this chat page. Private chat, where you can enjoy one-on-one -on -one chat, and open chat, where you can enjoy talking in groups. First, let's take a look at private chat. Three lists are displayed here. The first is my chat, a list of the conversations you are currently having. The second is follow, a list that shows the users you are following. The third is suggested, a list that shows the rest of the users. By the way, I've already done all the settings, so you don't have to do anything. That's why you can quickly create your own beautiful app just by co copying this template. Don't worry, this is common to all pages, not just this one. Next, let's look at open chat. The groups shown here are just for demo purposes, so you can customize it as you like. For example, if you don't like this image of hamburger, you can quickly turn it into pizza. If you don't like a topic like movie, you can quickly switch to WWE. Let's take a look at one of the groups called Girls Talk. There are a lot of open chats going on. If the user wants to create a new chat room, you can quickly create a room from here. Let's take a look at this room. It looks like this. If you want to invite someone in to this room, you can invite right away from this button. Next, let's look at search. This page is the same as the previous page. It's very simple so you can understand it quickly. Here we separate at the post, separate the post and user searches so that when the user wants to search for something, they can quickly access that information. This allows users to get the information they want immediately. Finally, let's take a look at my page. In this app, unlike Instagram, you can set your own SNS individually. It's very simple and easy. From this button, just enter your SNS account name after app mark. That's it, you can register your own SNS account. So far, we've talked about a series of app applications, but how was it? My app is very simple and easy to use for you and your users. If you're new to Glide, don't worry. We are building a system so that even such people can use it immediately. That's why I can confidently recommend this app to you. And at the same time, I sincerely hope that this app will help you. If you have any questions, please ask me anything. Thank you for listening.